the best thing ever. Desfew sent over the little brother of my most used R7 version and it's called the Mavo P5 5.5 inch camera monitor. In the past I tested a similar size screen and I think that this 5.5 inch screen is the perfect camera monitor for your gimbal just like the Aircross 2 or the Wibby Lab. Well, let's get straight into the review. In the package you will get the tilting arm, so it will make your monitoring more easier mounted on top of your camera. The monitor brightness is 450 nits with a contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. So you will have a good visibility outside. For a brighter sunshine day there is always the sunshade that is included in the package. The monitor can be used with the Sony MP5500 or 9700 batteries or with an external power DC input. With the monitor you will also get micro and mini HDMI cables with the user manual. Let's have a look into the features. On the top there is the power button, three programmable custom buttons and the wheel control for the menu system. On the side you will find only the HDMI input up to 4K DCI 24 frames per second. There are two one quarter screw mounts on the monitor, so you will be able to attach some additional stuff directly onto your monitor, like an additional light or other things. Let's get into the screen menu options. Let's have a look into the layout. On the main menu you will find auxiliary functions, monochrome display, false color, focus picking, zebra pattern, histogram, volume bar and camera mode. On the auxiliary line menu system, center marker, safe area margins, aspect ratio margins, line colors and transparency of the lines. There will be a lot of picture settings to choose, like the aspect ratio, scan mode, pixel to pixel, zoom options and more. The color settings will allow you to fine tune your monitor and also raise the level of brightness. I'm kinda leaving it always at 100%. There is also the option to program your upper hotkey buttons. On the other settings you can change the language, select your OSD time, transparency and upgrade the software. When you enter this video production world and you invest in gear, there are always some trade-offs that you have to make in order to squeeze your budget to invest to the right filmmaking gear. So let's talk about the trade-offs that you will be going if you get this monitor. There are no HDMI pass throughout, so you can't use a wireless HDMI image transmission system like the Holland Mars 300. For that you will have to get the bigger Deskview R7 brother. You will not get a touch screen but a rather button operated screen and there are no loot loading abilities on this screen. In the other hand you will get the great tilting arm, the sunshade and the two HDMI cables. With the added sunshade you will be able to see in any conditions even in hard sunlight. So let's go to the conclusion and see if this monitor is right for you. The screen is perfect if you are just starting out and you don't want to spend more than $130. It's lightweight and 9 watt hour battery usage means that a 68 milliampere 48 watt battery will last you about 5 hours of usage. Great for your extended run and gun shoot. That's it, this is a perfect budget monitor for your smaller lighter camera gimbal setup. Thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe with the bearing icon to get notified every time I make a new video and see you on my next one.